his first defeat. Oh. Ten inches tall. Both of these middleweights are 20. While well, Cicero has in fact that happened. Now, that was blocked by Cicero. Right hand lead by Lee missed. And Lee looks like he wants to get off quickly. The Cicero back. And on a knockdown, there is a mandatory eight count. Star has thrown about three, a little bit low, and he's trying to bring that guard down. With seven first round. This fight is only a minute old. Lee with a left hook. The Cicero bangs the body. Lee there, but Caveman didn't flinch. And we know that right. Two defeats suffered by Lee, one of the weight division in our ES. Race to lose the flex by Ring Magazine is the earning. Put your, put your left by Lee, and he is starting. Cut and the left. And the sister on this fight, that's very tight and to go in the opening round. The Cicero lost a 10 round decision to the Berto Stabbison. And he takes a left hook a little bit. Caveman is hitting him. Randy Gore. Round two, scheduled for 10. That's Lee in the white. Let's just Lee's JB, what puts him back. Well, Cicero is manning one of Emil Griffith all those years in, their in that first round both Al and I gave it to Lee trying to be more aggressive working the jab decisive in that going in with great trepidation each time and I think he's a little jab so much we've had very little fighting on the inside the Cicero just tagged Lee with a right hand now the Cicero's got him at close quarters, but Lee battles back with a right hand and then a right uppercut. And that right hand landed right on the button, but Lee did not flinch, and he's doing some great counter punching in the corner. Hey, then Lee is really showing us some class here. He was cornered by Le Cicero, and he is pounding his way out. He tagged Le Cicero with a left hook, comes up with a right uppercut. Le Cicero isn't doing anything at all. I think Lee demoted right hand, and he didn't even move. Now Le Cicero hammers Lee with the left hook. Lee with the left hand of his own. A right hand by Lee. A left hand by Lee. A right uppercut by Lee. Round three kept their distance. He's got a lot of respect for He's staying out. Oh, good right hand by Le Cicero. That stunned caveman. Don't you get the feeling? He is not a boxer. He's a banger. Uh, he's got an awkward style, but boy, he's ready to unleash lightning at any minute. Cave off the road. That's been a punch that Le Cicero has been eating since the opening bell. Cicero needs to put some been punching in combination. First, Le Cicero and uh, his manager, Harry Albert, knowing coming into here to Detroit that they've got to be a busy and aggressive because it'll be tough to get the nod in Lee's hometown. Less than a minute to go in round three. Good left took by Caveman, and I think that shook up John Le Cicero. He's holding on right now. Now he's in trouble. 16. Caveman Lee, so far, of having to lose, take the weight. Oh, absolutely, and again, uh, we don't want to be redundant. Uh, losing that weight. Air conditioning, because this fan can round. This is the fourth off a 10-round decision defeat against the Berto Saboteur last October in New York. Well, he has been out of the ring for quite a while, and he does look rusty. Lee two months ago, but waiting on Lee. I so year for Le Cicero with three... Was a 10th round TKO suffered against Marcus Geraldo, who Lee beat in one round in Chicago last... It's a cross currents here in the middleweight division. Of his three victories in 1980, Le Cicero pitched a 10 round to some four. Boy, Le Cicero actually picked his big right hand and that buckled the knees of Caveman Lee's in trouble. And a right uppercut did more damage. And Le Cicero is now cleaning up on Caveman Lee who needs the belt. Another right hand by Le Cicero. And suddenly to the head of, and then hitting him with a right uppercut. And now Le Cicero scores another right hand. And Lee's in trouble. Lee is on Green Street. Le Cicero is cleaning as he is out of control. Now Le Cicero takes a right hand from Lee, and Johnny Le Cicero looks very tired. He may have punched himself out and not underneath his run. He survived the heavy Dismond throwing headwinds around five. Caveman Lee's conditioning is incredible. We saw just saw it now when he survived that barrage from John Le Cicero. Lee now working the body of John Le Cicero. A right cross by Lee. Another right. A right uppercut by Lee. Lee with the left hook, but this low is kind of stounds us with this great fatigue. It's to go in this, the fifth round. Plenty of time. Now, as is winging 
with both hands. Kind of Cicero. They're looking for punching room. A left hook by Lee. A left hook by Lo Cicero. Lee comes back with a left and a right. Lee with a right uppercut. Another right hand by Lee. And Lo Cicero count is six, seven, eight, nine. He just been Lee. Lee with a left uppercut. A right to the body. A right uppercut. Lo Cicero has got him in an arm lock. Lee is looking for room. Lee with a right hand. Lo Cicero takes a left hook. Lo Cicero takes another left hook. Lo Cicero takes a right hand. Caveman Lee takes a right hand from Lo Cicero. A right uppercut by Lo Cicero. And Lo Cicero comes back with a right hand. Another right hand by Lo Cicero. And Lo Cicero now has got Lee in trouble. A right hand. Lee is on the rope. Lo Cicero is coming back like a bad man. It's all John Lo Cicero here in the fifth round. What a fight. And either of these fighters could go at any moment. Staggering around the ring. Less Big than right by Lo Cicero. To go. And they are slamming each other with heavy shots. Neither is going down at this point. But there goes Lo Cicero, a left hook. And he is really hurting. He's on his right side. game fighter just beat the count at nine he got up and in fact hurt lee and then caveman lee came as le cicero came back with a right hand of his own after he was down and look at him working on lee lee probably here was days trying to catch a breath even though he had was in the round as you look at this replay it's hard to imagine that lee came back but he did look at that right hand and left hand by le cicero he just leveled lee but Caveman Lee went nowhere, and his conditioning again paid off. What an incredible comeback by Le Cicero, because he had been down, and he was really hurt at this point, but still he found the energy to punch like this. Well, Caveman Lee came back valiantly in that fight, taking on a game John Le Cicero, who would not quit. Knocked him out late in the round, as both of these fighters...